Praise is to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Howard Kakwadash. Say double honors to our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone. I'm just doing a response to the uh, the beloved brother. I don't, I don't know the brother's name, but he he just did the video, um, and it was titled "Apostle Tahar: A Good Report, An Honest Report Amongst Men." And indeed, it's true. Uh, in that uh, that response video that Elder Pastor Hart did regarding Vocab Malone and some 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 uh, Israelite, which he's no longer in the truth. Apparently, he's uh, he would consider a fallout. Did an interview with Vocab because you know Vocab is uh, very studious when it comes to the Israelites. He's very uh, infatuated, and I believe it's because of his. Uh, he's both infatuated and a combination of of of, of that and fear. Because, you know, we believe that's part of his lot to come against us in the last days. But uh, the guy, so he, you know, he searches out all kind of people to get information on the Israelites and especially how everything started and originated. And uh, like what, well, like the apostles like to say, like we call it the, the old school, which was in one West in uh, New York. And you had a lot of eyewitnesses there. Because eventually what happened was the school started there, started with, you know, our, our the elders of our elders, like High Priest Ariyab, High Priest Jaquab, King Mashab, and, uh, you know, the list goes on. And then eventually there was a split. And then you have certain Israelites who went out and taught and different Israelite groups came out of, came out of that. Great Millstone being one of them which was originated by Elder Pastor Har, right? And him and the Elder Pastor Kabar, Pastor Ramla, Pastor Rakar, on down. And then you have other Israelite groups like the GOCC. And then you have ISUPK with uh, their leaders, Captain General Yohanna. And then you have, you know, like HOI, House of Israel, which their leader is Pri Sabak, right? And, uh, you know, you got the IUIC, which their leader is uh, Bishop or King Nathaniel, all of them were back then there, I mean, you know, back at the old school and a lot of, there's a lot of questions on how the, basically the groups got to this point and how was it as an old school? Well, our apostles and elders love to talk about what happened at the old school and the, um, one of the first things I believe Elder Pastor said in that video was if it wasn't for us to to tell you what happened in the old school, nobody you wouldn't know, because he he is telling the truth. As far as my knowledge, only the apostles and elders are gonna have actually gave you an honest and full report, as of to the best of their knowledge and the best of their memory, as of what happened back at the the old school. And is it? I love to hear it. I I love story time. Not for no, not for entertainment, but just to know how how it was. You know. A lot of us wish that we, we could have had participated in the, just being back there and being woken up back then. But, you know, the Lord had us set up for to come in at our appointed appointed times. A lot of us were still in our father's loins while the apostles and elders were teaching and while they were at the school, old school. So he was talking about what goes on back then. And how there's a split and how every we got to this point today. You can, if, if you want to actually hear it, you're going to have to go to the apostles. You're not going to hear it from nobody else. OK, I'm talking about the actual truth, not just partial, but what really went down. Right. And that guy that was on vocab show, he said he had a lot to say about Elder Pastor Har. And again, mind you, this guy is no longer in the truth yet. He had nothing but good things to say about the Elder Apostle Tahar and said, you know, everybody, you either liked him or you did. <laughs> and that he was uh, he was he was loyal to his teachers, despite the split and the back and forth. He he was, um, you know, he still had was was loyal and 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 sincere and didn't talk bad about his his elders. And. And as the scriptures tell you, you know, a good name is better than precious ointment. 
that take that goes a long way. It says a lot, you know, just like the brother said, despite the despite the slander campaigns, despite the lies, despite all of this to try to tarnish uh, Elder Pastahar's um, name and reputation, his works and the witnesses speak for itself. And even as I, you know, we did response videos to this video here, YouTube took it down. I could re-upload it. It's still on my phone, I believe. Um, not that long ago, uh, this video got re-uploaded, Elder, Elder Tar on the Shirley Show in 1994. And very good watcher. And one thing I noticed, I just said, man, you know, Elder Pastor Har, he never changed. He was the same back then. He's the same today. Just hitting him with the truth, hitting him with the facts. There was another one where, it's probably still on YouTube, I saw, where he was, like, they went to a college. And that was good. You know, they was asking the questions. They they was keeping it cool, but then eventually he just hit them with the, look, y'all going to slave. And when you see like this, you know, to watch our apostles and elders back when they was out there teaching, you see, at least when it, you know, especially when it came to Apostle R, he never changed. And he's still just teaching the word. And despite people saying what they say, you have witnesses who can actually say nothing but good things about Elder Apostle Tahar. You know, to this day, the, the, the reason he may be disliked is solely because of defending the gospel, the doctrine, or his delivery. But other than that, there hasn't been anybody that came up and said that you know, Elder Pastor stole my car. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he you know, he, uh, he, uh, uh, um, what's the word? Extorted me. You know, he was, he was stealing at the old school. He was robbing. Nobody can say that. Everything that uh, involved Elder Pastor Har was strictly about the doctrine and the scriptures. That's it. And it just made me think of, you know, one uh, chapter that Paul sp spoke about in Second Corinthians chapter six, as the title there says, "Their ministry commended." It says, "We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of Yahweh in vain." For he said, "I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in a day of salvation I have secured thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation." giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. You see, even vocab alone, like the brother highlighted, had good things to say about other parts of the heart because it's, it's all about the doctrine. And as much as he's doing all this digging, when he digs up any information uh, on, on how it was at the old school, when Elder Pastor Hart's name gets mentioned, it's only a good, honest report. So to this day, he's doing a, 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 a good job at what giving that the ministry be not blamed. You know, it says, but in all things, approving ourselves as ministers of Yahweh in much patience in afflictions in necess necessities in distresses in stripes in imprisonments in tumults in labors in watchings and fastings. By pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, and uh, by the Holy Spirit, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of Yahweh, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. And here's the point I want: it says by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers yet true. So. You're supposed to have, you're supposed to be approving, it says approve ourselves as a minister of Yahweh throughout all these things, through honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report as deceivers yet true. So even though you're slandered, your name is dragged through the mud, you're still true. The NLT on that verse says we serve Yahweh whether people honor us or despise us. Whether they slander us or praise us, we are honest, but they call us imposters. And how do you let, how do you defend yourself when you're being deceived? You just stick to the scriptures. 
You say your say according to the scriptures and you let the Lord justify you. As the scripture says, wisdom is justified of her children. Just like Yahushua went up, they couldn't find a single thing to slander this man with. So much so that even Pontius Pilate knew you guys are clearly just angry at him because you got nothing. You, you, you got nothing. And. You know, I'm 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 happy to say, you know, looking at all my apostles and elders, I'm happy that I can say that, you know, and uh, that, you know, these are my leaders. I do look at them as spiritual fathers, teachers. And they're they're leading by a per, uh, perfect example, as the scripture says, mark the perfect man. OK, for the end of that man is peace. Meaning what watch is in the school pay. Well, actually, that might be, I believe that's in the uh, Old Testament, but you watch them follow after their footsteps. As Paul said, be followers of me, even as I am of the Messiah. So there's nothing wrong with following other men if they're fear. You, if they have fear towards you. How about Shim Yahushai? And you see how in the long run or in the latter end, you are justified by wisdom and truth. And not that long ago, I did a lesson, right, highlighting um, over there at the IUIC. I believe I titled it, you know, the um, the, the Bishop Nathaniel, his uh, vain fame is, is temporary and it's on borrowed time. Because what that is over there, that that praise is, is manufactured. It's not genuine. It's not legit. It's not coming from a. Uh, an honest source is all manufactured. You see, it's it's forced. And that's all temporary. Because guess what? There's not a lot of people. There's there's actually, shall I say, there's a lot of people who don't have good things to say regarding the IUIC, including their leader. But because he has access to the money. And his position, he can, isn't his attempt to try to drown out the background noise by just being louder and setting up this fake fame, this fake praise. But that's just it. It's not, it's not real. It's, it's, the scripture says in chapter 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 18, for he, for not he that commended himself is approved, but whom the Lord commendeth. And that word commend in the Greek goes into being established. So you don't want to establish yourself, but it's whom the Lord established. And it's going to show by the, as the scripture says, truth will stand the test of time, but liars will soon fall. Eventually the lies is going to come to an end. But the truth is always going to uh, stand the test of time. So you want to always follow the scriptures to the best of your ability and let the Lord exalt you and raise you and give you a good report versus you doing it yourself and trying to force it because it's going to be blatantly obvious. See, so that was just what I wanted to add in there. Okay. You know, Elder Pastor Har, just if you go back to the old videos and you hear the reports of men, eyewitnesses that was at the old school, you find out he never changed. Still to this day, you know, teaching the word out of fear of Yahweh by Shem Yahushat and out of love for the doctrine and for the and for this work. See, and this is this is an example of what happens when you just stick to the scriptures, as Paul said, and whether you are honored or dishonored. And if you do have an evil report, yet you still being true. And this, and in the end, Yahweh by Shemiah Shah is going to be the one to justify you. You see, so just want to throw my two cents in there. So with that, I hope it was edifying. I say shalom.